Say hello to the OXS Thunder Pro. Now, this is an elite soundbar. This is outstanding for several reasons. I'll show you guys why in this video. It's got very diverse connectivity. It's a premium build quality and includes Dolby Atmos surround sound premium sound. A few things impressed me right away. Now, I will say this is a pricey piece of kit at around £600 in the UK at the time of recording, and I have been using it now for a few weeks, so I could make up my mind on whether it was worth the hefty price tag and if it would suit my needs. Spoiler alert, I am more than pleased with this. I got this one from Amazon, but it is also available from the OXS website. I will leave links for your convenience to both of the websites. I'm not linked to OXS in any way, or am I affiliated? However, the Amazon link will be affiliate and you are directly supporting the channel by using any of the Amazon affiliate links. The box is big and it certainly has that premium feel about it. Included in the box is the soundbar and a MIDI controller. This has a few functions I'll show you later in the video. We also get a user manual, which I would advise you reading through it. We also get a high quality USB A to USB C. We also get a HDMI lead, a remote control, Let's try that again. A remote control. That's more like it. And we also get some... My powers aren't working. This is unacceptable. There we go. Some AAA batteries. I almost forgot the power supply. And three sets of feet. We get a small, a medium, and a large set. I'll show you why these are useful later. So we'll start with the soundbar's MIDI controller. This isn't required for use. It is optional. We do have a few functions on here. We have the EQ. We have a mode button. It's a nice thick braided cable. And it is the industry standard five pin MIDI connection. It's nice and simple to operate. You just simply plug it into the rear like I say this is optional you don't need to plug this in you can fully use the soundbar without this but it's nice to have it also controls the power on the power off and obviously it has the volume wheel and mute feature and you can change inputs speaking of inputs we have a diverse range of inputs here starting with the power the 24 volt input and then we have three 3.5 millimeter sockets aux headphones and for microphone then we've got the midi connection the five pin midi connection and a link button usb a and usb c hdmi and hdmi e arc as for the specifications this is a little confusing on the website it says it's dolby atmos 7.1 but this is referring to the version that comes with the next speaker. Now, mine doesn't include the next speaker, so this is actually 5.1 times two. The specifications are good. We get two 0.75 inch tweeters, two 2.5 inch full range drivers, and then we get four 1.5 inch full range drivers. There's four EQ modes. We get the FPS, RAC, MOAB, and the standard mode. The dimensions of this, it's around 24 inches long, it's around five and a half, six inches wide, and then it's around three inches tall. Operational frequency is 75 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. And its output is 90 watts with a peak output of 180 watts and a sound level of 96 decibels. And this model weighs approximately 4.7 kilos. They claim to be all about gamers, so let's get this in a few games and put it to the test. Oh, <laughs> 
40, left 5 half long, times 3. And right 3 long over crest, continues past junction, don't cut. And left 5 over crest. And right 3, 40 crest. Into caution, crest jump maybe. After a few games, I don't hear any delays or any compression, no latency or anything like that. All of the audio is crystal clear and in sync. It's very, very good. All of the remote control functions and features still work via Bluetooth. The options feel a little clunky with the remote. We do have to cycle through a few of them, for example. There's no app or any customizable EQ settings or anything like that. And at this price, I would like to see those kind of things. All of your commands from the keyboard and things still work as well, so you can still control the volume and stuff from the keyboard if you've got a volume dial. Switching over to the console, it all sounds incredible. Some of these sounds and noises that are in this game here, I'd never heard these before. Insane. Say cool. Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. And there it is. Hook Motion Picture Studios. It's also the same for music. The Dolby Atmos isn't available through Bluetooth. We do need the HDMI eARC for that. HDMI from your TV or your game console into the soundbar and then you put your other HDMI into the eARC and that goes into your TV. So basically the soundbar is acting as a pass-through device. When you turn this on, it will connect to whichever device is on. So if it's on TV, it will connect to the TV. If your Xbox is on it will connect via HDMI. The only small issue I have here is if any of your devices are not powered on and you're connected to your PC via Bluetooth then there is no wake mode unfortunately and it does not automatically switch to Bluetooth you do have to do this manually. This is meant to operate in the frequency of 75 Hertz up to 20,000 kilohertz so we also run a sweeping sound test and I think it actually performs better. I can hear this at around 40 hertz. We do have some RGB features. It's very basic, simple colors, red, green, blue, purple, etc. And you do also have some settings here where you can customize the top speakers, the rear speakers, the back speakers, and things like that. You can also tweak your bass and your treble settings. All of these are nice little features. Little issue here that I've got, which this one does actually annoy me slightly. If there's no audio or no use in 10 minutes, the soundbar turns itself off. I haven't found a way to disable this. There may be a way to do so, but I just don't know it yet. But I haven't found a way to disable this, and it does frustrate me sometimes. If I get distracted for any amount of time and have to go to the shop, for example, when I come back, I go to press play, and my audio's off, I need to restart the soundbar by manually turning it on. That can be a little frustrating, I do have to admit. The feet are very handy. These come with three different sizes. We get a small, a medium, and a large. I like to use the two shortest legs on the rear and the two longest legs on the front. This gives the soundbar a slight upward tilt. This is how I prefer to use it. 
Now I have to say, overall, I am very, very impressed with this. The build quality is phenomenal. Sound quality is also phenomenal. Design is very modern looking and sleek. I like that we have multiple control options. The MIDI controller is very useful and easy to use, but it's not required. The remote control is also very simple to navigate and use. The tweeters are very good at giving their high notes. You can hear all of the musical instruments in songs. You can hear all of the action in movies through these tweeters. They sound fantastic. And that is also the same for these 2.5 inch drivers. Now these are really good. As you can see, they're very, very flexible. They're really good at projecting the bass and they are upward firing. So that means they do project the sound towards you. I would warn you not to use this on full volume. You might annoy your neighbors and they might want to call the police on you. This is that loud that it could actually be disruptive if you was to put it on full volume. We also took a look at other reviews online to see what other people thought of this thing and overall thoughts are pretty good. There are a few points that people make and I would certainly agree with those. Dolby Atmos surround sound being limited to HDMI, etc. Now, the price is $599.99 in the UK at the time of recording, but you can automatically save yourself £100 from the purchase price by simply ticking a box. You can do this on Amazon because it's a high ticket item, and you can also do this on the OXS website, I'm assuming, so they can stay competitive with other sellers. Things I absolutely love about this is clearly the sound. This thing absolutely thumps if you want it to, and it also carries the mids and the high range as well, pretty good. The build quality is fantastic, and it has a brushed aluminium look to it. I think it's a good style, and it's a good size, and it looks like a nice modern design with a classy finish. It would suit most home theatres, gaming setups, TV stands, etc. The bad points, I think the menus are a little clunky, I think there should be an application or some sort of app that you can run with this that has a customizable EQ. I think it should have a wake mode, not just when you first time power it on. So when you first turn on your TV in the morning, it does have a wake mode if it's connected via HDMI and you're watching TV. But if you're trying to load up your Xbox or you start your PC and you have it connected over Bluetooth or anything like that, there's no wake mode and you have to manually go to your Bluetooth setting. I wish you didn't have to do that. It's a little difficult to recommend at the £600 price point, but if you do check that box and get it for just under £500, that does certainly make it more palatable. And I have seen little deals and sales with this where you can save another £50 here or there, which would then make it a pretty good buy in my opinion. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful, make sure you click the like button down below. That really helps the channel far more than you guys realize. Also, consider subscribing to the channel with your notifications on. That way you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig. This is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.